They say that in life there are going to be mistakes. There are also accidents, intentions not going as they should, and things going just plain wrong. <laughs> and then there are the things that go so out of whack that you have absolutely no idea how it happened. When a person or an animal gives birth to an offspring, you have a general idea of what they're going to look like, but sometimes nature just doesn't follow the rule book and creates something that is almost frightening to see. And you just have to wonder how such a creature even came into existence. So with that in mind, here now are 20 strangest mutant animals ever discovered. Number 20. Four-Eared Cat Given some of the odd things that you're going to see in this video, I thought it may be best to ease you into it for, you know, your own safety and all. And first up, we're going to be talking about a cat with a unique mutation. Here's a pop quiz. How many ears does a cat have? The answer should be two, but we're not here to talk about should now, are we? Oh no, because this cat was actually born with four ears. A cat named Midas was born with two sets of ears and a defective jaw due to a genetic mutation, which already means it's got a handicap in life. But according to its owners, it's been able to live a nice life, especially thanks to the owners themselves. The owners said they fell in love with Midas at first sight and wanted to take her in, concerned that her chances of finding a home would be hampered due to her unique condition. But to be blunt, that is an understatement. Some people only want to have perfect animals in their home, even if they're not going to say it out loud. So for that family to say they were going to take Midas in despite the mutation, well yeah, that makes them great people, and we should all be living by their example. So that leaves the big question, does the extra ears and odd jaw make Midas' life harder? Well, actually no. According to the vets, all the ears are attached to the ear canal, so they all work, and the jaw is apparently an easy workaround as well. Now that doesn't mean that the cat doesn't get some odd looks, of course. The family admits that some people are freaked out by the cat thanks to its multiple ears, yet the family also has numerous visitors who want to take pictures, so it kind of all balances out. The lesson here is as old as time. You can't judge a book by its cover. It's still a cat, and it's a cat that needs love. And thankfully, it gets that love via its family, which is very nice to hear. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the fancy topic. I'm going to warn you that this is not exactly one that I'm thrilled to be talking about. Allegedly, the picture that you're seeing was a creature that was born from a pig. Yeah, exactly. I'm not happy to talk about it. According to the story, a farmer's pig gives birth to a human baby. He takes a closer look and starts crying. The reason that he was crying was because the pig had given birth to some kind of abomination that looked like this. There's even a claim of a video that shows the baby creature being alive in the world, but I'm going to stop there and call it a hoax for a lot of reasons. First off, the child clearly looks human, and no amount of mutation would have a piglet turn into a human. There is literally absolutely no biological and scientific way. Trust me, I'm going to show you some pretty weird mutations in this video, but nothing I'm going to show you would ever indicate that something like this was possible. Not to mention if something like this really did happen, and some kind of human piglet was born, it would be all over the news in the worst of ways, with scientists weighing in on how something like this would even happen. But they haven't, so I don't think that it really existed. And this is yet another case of the internet just trying to stir up some trouble. And the internet doesn't really need help in that department now, does it? As always, you can comment down below using the hashtag fancy topic and let me know what you think in relation to what you just saw on the screen. Number 19. Cora the Miracle Calf. And now that we've gotten that nonsense out of the way, let's talk about mutations that actually did happen. Like this tragic yet uplifting story about a calf that was born with a condition that should have killed it quickly, and yet it didn't. I'm talking about a cow calf named Cora, who was born with an incredibly rare condition that her heart was in her neck. 
The calf's condition is called ectopia cordis, and that means that the heart had formed outside of the chest cavity. Believe it or not, the fact that this condition has a name proves how often that it's happened. <laughs> So at the very least, the calf was not alone with its condition. But it gets more trippy than that. You may think that this was some kind of mutation from its genes, but it actually was not. Instead, it's what you may call a glitch, just a random thing that can take place within a person or animal, and there's nothing that can be done about it, which is kind of scary to think about. The reason Cora surviving this upon birth was a miracle in some people's eyes is that when this glitch often happens, it comes with a heavy toll on the rest of the body. Typically, other parts of the body, like the arteries and veins, don't form correctly, and doctors felt that the calf would not get the oxygen it needed to survive, and then it would die quickly. However, it didn't, and it simply kept on living. While it may not sound like a prize, Cora's condition meant that it wasn't just getting the care it needed, but it would be a prime subject for study. And after all, it's not every day that this happens, and it's even more rare that you get to observe something like this alive. And while you're thinking about that, you should take some time to hit that thumbs up to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel so that you can get more amazing and captivating videos like this one in the future. Number 18, The Lucky Piglet. Now, full warning, this next one may make some of you queasy, and I promise that it is a very real picture of a very real animal that was actually really born. A piglet in the Philippines would leave villagers astounded after she was born with two heads, two snouts, and three eyeballs. That's much more than it needed to live, and it also made it something that people couldn't quite wrap their heads around when they saw it. And for us, we honestly can't look away fast enough. <laughs> Apparently, the animal has a condition that results in livestock being born with more than one head. You might know that this doesn't just happen in animals. Like with this pig, it can also happen in humans, just as though they were conjoined twins. But how does something like it happen in the first place? Well, it all has to do with some deep genetics, and sometimes it doesn't even follow those basic rules. To put it loosely, sometimes an animal or a human will churn out embryos that don't stay whole. Sometimes they're split apart, and one becomes two. And if they're able to be fully formed, that's what you would call identical twins, as they were one embryo originally, and thus shared the same genetic material. Typically, this takes place at a certain stage in the pregnancy. However, on rare occasions, it happens much later than it should, and as a result, the eggs don't fully separate. Due to this, they form attached, and you can see the results. What happened with this pig is an extreme case, but it does happen in other animals and humans as well, and it goes to prove that while we do know how genetics works, you can never truly predict how your child is going to come out of the womb. Number 17. Double Dave You may not have believed me when I said that this rare multi-headed condition happens to all sorts of animals, so here's the proof. A baby timber rattlesnake was discovered in 2019 by some environmentalists from the Herpetological Associates Group. After finding the snake, they called it Double Dave, after one of the men who had discovered it. A key thing to note here is that it's not just that Double Dave has two heads. Both of those heads are actually functional. They documented how the eyes worked and the tongues of the snake both flickered in and out, so that's the literal definition of two heads are better than one, except technically it's not. Think of it like this. Imagine yourself with a split personality disorder, but instead of you shifting from one to the other, you had both of them in your head at the same time trying to make decisions. It wouldn't exactly work out now, would it? That's what's going on here. The snake was not meant to function like this, and as a result, the heads will be constantly fighting one another. Due to that, scientists never give mutated creatures like this that long to live. It may sound harsh, but with two independent minds that are trying to survive, the snake moves much slower than it should, and that leaves it open to all kinds of predators, not the least of which are birds that can snatch it without much issue. The heads have even been known to fight each other over food, not realizing that whatever they're eating is heading to the same digestive system. Again, it's not something they were meant to have, and they can't talk it out like other animals or humans could in their situation. As such, they think that they're fighting something else and will die due to that. Number 16. Black-capped capuchins. 
Now we'll change things up a bit, where we have a video that doesn't necessarily show a mutation, but something that many people feel isn't real for one reason or another. The monkey in the video is known as a black-capped capuchin, and when you watch the video, you'll see that the monkey is reacting to things in an almost human way. Its expressions are so human-like that many people think that this is some kind of AI changing things around to make you think that it's a monkey when it's not. Now, I can appreciate that kind of thinking, due to how AI is starting to take over the art landscape and can be used to fake someone's appearance if the right program is done. And yeah, AI is getting closer to taking over the world. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, right? Anyways, is this video fake? Well, no. If you look up a black cap capuchin, you'll find pictures of them that have been doing expressions that do indeed look human-like. So what is the explanation here? Well, it comes down to nature. And sometimes nature makes things that look similar to others. Plus, the black-capped capuchins are famous for their ability to be trained and used for things like TV and movies. Perhaps one of the reasons for that is the expressions they give off will make them appealing to the audience. It clearly works in this situation, doesn't it? Number 15. The Alien Moth now, if you've been watching some of the previous videos, you'll likely know the story I'm about to tell you. But if you're new, allow me to state that sometimes people find things in their homes that are so freaky, they can't help but think that they're monsters or mutants or even aliens. Case in point, this man in Indonesia went into his basement and found this abomination hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, it freaks me out just by looking at it, and he was freaked out as well. He had never seen anything like it before and probably never wanted to see anything like it again, the creature had wings, four tentacles, and appeared to be moving upside down, which has all the makings of a monster that has to be killed immediately. But this man was a bit kinder than most and realized that the creature had likely come into his house to get out of the rain that had been coming down. As for what it really was, well, it wasn't a mutant, a monster, or an alien. It was actually a rare species of moth, believe it or not. There had been other sightings as well, so that further proves that it was from Earth, but still incredibly freaky. Number 14. The Florida Skin there are many monsters that live in Florida. Some of them are the crocodiles that live in the Everglades. Some are the politicians trying to bring down the world and refer to themselves stupidly as Top Gov. And then there are some creatures that just simply cannot be explained. But even for Florida, if you were to find a weird skin in your backyard, you might be right to freak out. And that's exactly what happened to one Jacksonville woman. And to be fair, the skin was attached to a creature. Not that that helped matters at all. The woman took pictures and video of said creature, and the internet went absolutely nuts trying to figure out what it was. Ironically, after sending it to the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation, she got an answer. It was actually a possum. It doesn't really sound right, now does it? But here's the rub. It was clearly a decomposed possum. And when decomp happens, weird things can occur within animals. One of the more classic traits is that with enough time, an animal can actually become completely unrecognizable. And no, this isn't the weirdest thing to be found in Florida. There have been even more weird things discovered, sadly enough. Number 13. Tiny Kitchen Creatures. For many people out there, the last thing they want to see is unexpected creatures running through their kitchen. After all, that's where they eat and have their food stored. And if the little creatures are there, well, they could be everywhere. Not a pretty thing to think about. For one person in New Zealand, they found some odd creatures twitching on the floor of their kitchen, and after picking them up, they had no idea what they were. And when you look at the pictures and video, it's not hard to see why they were so confused. After all, they don't exactly look normal. As for what they were, there's actually some debate on that. One scientist felt that they were the remains of a moth that had been eaten by something like a cat. They still had nerves and muscles firing, so they were twitching on the ground. Another scientist popped up and noted that it might have been a rat-tailed maggot, which is gross to think about because maggots are disgusting. Either way, it's definitely not something that you'll want in your kitchen, so be on the lookout. Number 12. Cyclops. Now I'm going to talk about a goat. But not just any goat, it was a very, very special goat that everybody loved. The goat in question was born in 2017, and as the title would indicate, it only had one single eyeball. The condition which causes the defect is called cyclopia, and it occurs when the two hemispheres of the brain don't separate. 
This leads to the formation of one single central cavity within one eye, or sometimes partially fused to separate eyeballs, and it wasn't only the eye that would be affected, as the goat also only had one ear. Now there are two ironies here that I would like to point out. According to scientists in India, it should have died within days, but it didn't, which is why many people called it a miracle that was not unlike a certain cow that I discussed earlier. The other irony is, people felt that the goat was so special and blessed that they actually decided to worship it. I'm being absolutely serious on that. So clearly, to some people, mutations are a sign from God. I mean, who knew? Number 11. Meet Toby. Now, if not obvious, the next animal I'm going to talk about is a dog named Toby. But what's his mutation? Well, he has two noses. Hopefully you know that dogs and their noses are very special. They have far better sniffers than humans do, and that's why they're often used for tracking and sniffing out drugs and bombs and other dangerous items or contraband. And while it cannot be confirmed that Toby has super sniffers, it wouldn't be out of the realm of possibility. The bad news is that because of his condition, a lot of people were fine with letting him get put down, further showing the human perception of such animals. Thankfully, a man named Todd, which I think is a great name, no particular reason, reason why, adopted him and brought him into a freak show that he owned, featuring other animals of this nature. Oh, and he said that Toby is the sweetest dog on earth. Clearly the Todd man is a saint. Number 10. A Four-Legged Duck There are many animals that have four legs, and they do just fine with those four legs. But when you have a two-legged animal suddenly having four legs, well that can be a bit confusing, especially when that animal is a duck. This particular duck was born in 2007 and it freaked out the farmer that was taking care of it because it went to check the gender of the fowl after being born and saw two legs too many. Things would only become worse when it was declared to not be able to live that long because of its condition. You see where this one's going, right? The duck did live, and the other legs didn't really affect it at all. Even the farmer was amazed by the duck, and it got plenty of attention and love thanks to its survival story. Number 9. Kangaroo Dog now we'll talk about a reverse of the story I just told you. In this case, it's about a four-legged animal that was born with only two. <laughs> Sadly, this kind of thing happens more than you realize and can easily be one of the more deadly mutations in the world. It's one thing to be born with extra parts, if you can learn to live with them, but when you lose two of the parts that help you to maintain balance and mobility, well, that can be a literal crippler, and that would have been sad if it had gone down that way. Instead, after being rescued, the dog was taught how to walk and even hop on its hind legs, and that gave it the name of Kangaroo Dog, and proof that a disability doesn't always make you a liability or even restrict you from doing what you want. Number 8. Pigeon Fish Changing up things once again, there are often times when you see a creature and say, nah, that doesn't really look like another animal, does it? In this case, I'm talking about a fish that was caught by someone in China, and when it was examined by onlookers, it had a head that looked like a pigeon. As in, it was a pigeon-shaped head on the body of a fish. It even looked like it had a beak. And before you do any kind of freaky, what kind of messed up fusion is this talk, well, it's not what you are believing. The fish was a common freshwater carp, and when people refused to believe the explanation, scientists would note that the fish likely had some developmental issues at birth, thus resulting in a misshapen head. Number 7. The Scaly Buffalo Sadly, we have another case of a it's a monster find on this list, but this time it's actually one that you could at least have a debate on. In Thailand, a buffalo had allegedly given birth to a set of calves that were perfectly normal, except there was one that was definitely not normal, and that would be this one right here. The buffalo in question had an odd scaly skin, and it left many people wondering how that was possible. <laughs> Of course, some people took this in the way other direction and noted that it was a blessed item and began to touch the scales for luck. Now, while I can't really say for certain what the creature is or is not, what can be said is that it's definitely a mutation of the skin, which has come in many forms over the years in many different species. Number 6. Octo Goat 
So, do you remember when I told you about how embryos can sometimes split apart and yet not fully split apart, and that results in some extra parts being in the finished product? Well, here's another example of that. Because this is a goat that was born with eight legs and had both male and female reproductive organs. Yes, it's true that some animals do have the dual reproductive organs naturally, but goats are not one of them. As one would expect, when the farmer of the goat saw it, he had a whole lot of questions, even questioning what he was saying. But instead of doing anything rash, he promised to keep the goat should it survive its ordeal. Having eight legs would be something big to overcome, as that's much more than a goat is supposed to have. Number 5. The Hairless Creature now, while I've made remarks about how people have judged mutated creatures, I can't help but deny that sometimes, if you were to come across one of these in the wild, you'd probably freak out because you wouldn't recognize it, and that might lead you to extreme actions. For example, in Malaysia, a man would be working on his plantation when he saw something he didn't recognize. It was an odd hairless creature that looked like nothing he'd seen before. It was skulking around the area, and he felt that the best idea was to beat it up until it was unconscious. That is certainly one way to handle things. As it would turn out, it was a rare type of sun bear that was in the area. But how did the person not recognize that? Because it had a skin condition that had caused it to lose its hair and appear sickly. That's why you don't judge a book by its cover. Number 4. Goat face. Now remember the monkey that had a human face when you watched its expressions? Well, that primate has nothing on this goat from India. Because as you can see, that goat has a face that only a mother could love. And possibly only if that mother was blind or maybe had some really low standards or looked at it from the side. You know, after a drunken night of whiskey. The reason that people were freaking out about the goat is, as you can see, that it has a face that has the looks of a human. And this time, I really mean it. It looks nothing like the goat faces that you've already seen, and one could only imagine the mutations that would have been needed to make something like this happen. Now, I don't really have an answer, but if this kind of mutation appeared on more goats, well, it might be bad. I regret nothing. And I have no shame. Number 3. The Human Pig As I near the end of this list, it seems only fair to highlight some truly unique and terrifying mutations that have happened over the years. Such as with this pig that is so much unlike its kin that it got the label of half-human, half-pig creature, which is terrifying to think about in numerous ways. The small furless animal is much larger than its sibling and has shiny pale pink skin, trotters like a pig, and even had a navel just like a tiny human. But to those who were there when it was born, it seemed like a cursed animal, especially after its siblings and parents had died after the births of the litter, and yet this one survived. Scientists popped in and said that it could have happened via mutation or because of disease that the mother had gotten. But either way, it certainly remains freaky. Number 2. Where's the fifth leg? This one is freaky and weird even for me, because here we have the case of a calf that was born with five legs. And given what I've shown you, that's actually not too bad. But it's where that fifth leg is that matters. Because unlike the other animals where it had just developed alongside the other parts, this one had a tissue defect that grew that leg on the calf's head. Oh yeah, it did really happen. Plus, as its owner would note, the fifth leg had two feet attached to it. It's getting even more weird by the moment. The medical condition is called polymelia, and it only happens in one of every 100,000 animals. It's also a killer very early on, so the fact that this one lasted long enough to be examined was kind of a miracle on its own. Number 1. Squirt and Crush Finally, to ease us out of this, we're going back to a classic mutation, two heads on one body. In this case, I'm talking about a sea turtle named Squirt and Crush, one name for each of its two heads. It would be found on the beach and released after some pictures were taken. Sadly, the turtle was basically just doomed to die. Remember the two-headed snake that was fighting over its food? Well, now imagine that you need to swim with two minds trying to control where you go and when. 
It's not exactly all that easy, and even the person that rescued the turtle would note that it didn't swim very well. These mutations can be quite devastating indeed. That's all from the realm of animals that didn't exactly come out right? Were you freaked out by the topic? And were there creatures that you honestly just couldn't look at? Perhaps there's another animal that you know of along these lines that could have fit very well onto this list. You should be sure to let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen right now, and I will see you next time. I love you.